Welcome everybody out there here to our next uh, webinar about uh, JFD Invest, improve your investing experience. My name is <clears throat> Stefan Friedrichowski as always for those English webinars about JFD Invest. And today we have the 15th of August, 2019. It's a pleasure for me to have you all here and uh, a warm welcome in the name of uh, JFD Bank as well. Yeah, today we talk again about JFD Invest, which is actually a digital wealth management platform. And that means that you are able to follow professional traders with a special account, which is called a JFD Invest account. And what finally happens, if you like, <clears throat> that uh, those traits of uh, those professional traders are directly copied into your trading account according to your preferences. And you have a selection of different strategies and it's up to you which one you decide you want to follow. So you are still absolutely involved and um, your involvement means you act as a portfolio manager by selecting the right strategies and the right allocation um, amount of money. And therefore, it's always a match between your personal preferences and those strategies we have already pre-selected. And you decide which one you want to have in your JFD Invest account. So... It's a cool, cool job to be a portfolio manager and it's up to you which strategies you select. And I will tell you during this webinar what might be key figures you take into account for your personal selection procedure. And um, there is never the, just one rule or the one fit because it really depends on how risk fiend you are and um, therefore I cannot tell you anything like go for this that and this one and then you are done no it's really uh, a matching process as always I will introduce um, in general JFT Invest a little bit more and of course we will talk about uh, the latest highlights from last week and we talk about my personal JFD Invest account as well. Uh, let's see how that is growing and um, hopefully as uh, I mentioned earlier uh, I get finally after one year with JFD Invest and that special account to a gross profit of above 25%. So let's see where I am. Before I really start, you know the procedure, I have to show always once this uh, slide, this risk disclaimer, uh, more or less telling you that we talk about um, investment, that we talk about trading, we talk about trading strategies, but finally, whatever you do, you do it on your own responsibility. Uh, I think that's quite self-explaining. And if you need additional advice, please look for that. And even if you are not sure about JFD Invest at all, um, you are free to send me an email. My email address has been mentioned already on my first slide. Or you send an email to support at jfdbank.com. It's quite easy and we will help you as soon as possible, definitely. Okay, I mentioned JFD uh, Invest is something uh, like a digital wealth management platform. So let's really have a look to that and starting from the very beginning. So if you start on the JFD homepage and go for invest, uh, which means following investing and then JFD Invest. Um, then it will open up a new page and then you are almost done. So let me first scroll down because then you see a little bit more what is JFD Invest all about. And you see already here a quick summary of the top five performing strategies overall uh, since inception of uh, each uh, strategy. And uh, you see that we are talking about double digit growth numbers. Um, so the, the top performer has even a performance of uh, close to 100%. So doubling the account in a little bit more than one and a half year, which is really an excellent uh, result. But you can see that there are other strategies which are quite interesting as well. And also already here on the first page, you see <clears throat> that those strategies 
uh, differentiate in their key figures, especially if you look for a return and equity balance deviation, I will explain a little bit more later, it's a little bit like a drawdown, then you can see, okay, if you have high returns, then there might be high risk involved as well. So um, therefore, we are already at the point, one other personal preferences, is a drawdown of 10% already a nightmare for you? Or do you say, oh, 50%, uh, it's just my trading account, I can live with that. So that's the reason why I cannot say, okay, let's all go for Hyperion, because if um, you do not accept a drawdown of, let's say, bigger than 20%, uh, you would not be happy with that strategy. And therefore, that selection procedure and matching your preferences with the key figures we present at JP Invest is quite important step in order to create your personal um, portfolio. Those are the top performing strategies. You later will see that we have um, some more strategies, but how you can be part with JFD Invest is really easy. All you have to do is you have to sign in uh, for a JFD Invest profile. That's the green button here on top. And that's just the registration pro uh, process, no money involved at all. <clears throat> so it's just an email address and your given password. And then you may open a JFD Invest account if you like. That's a special account with special conditions. And special condition means that this trading account has um, the same leverage than professional traders. That means uh, 1 to 100, different from a normal private uh, trader account. On the other hand, you cannot trade by your own on that account. So you cannot open a trade like going short on euro, US dollar. But you can follow those strategies already uh, mentioned in uh, the table below. Finally, uh, just two steps uh, left. The one is uh, to connect your profile with your JFD Invest account, which is just a regular account. And then if uh, that account is uh, monetized, then you can start following any trading strategies. What you always can do is you can go for guest, and that's what we will do uh, in a few seconds. First of all, I would like to highlight the top uh, performing strategies of last week. So not overall, but uh, last week, and that is a short newsletter we send around always. And in this case, uh, last week it has been Gold Rush, and it might be that it will be Gold Rush once again this week. You will see later if you uh, capture that uh, picture here, and we go later for the actual as we speak, then you will see a ne next step upwards a year later. So that strategy is quite a cool strategy, trading lots of instruments in total. I think it's about uh, above 30 different instruments. So it's already diversified in itself. And the other good thing is about that strategy, the strategy is always closing all trades before midnight. So there will be no swap costs, no financing costs, and there's no overnight or over weekend risk, which is quite good as well, because that means um, everything is closed. If you go to, to bed tonight, then, and at the next morning, there might be a new open trades. Um, for example, in this case today, there's no open trade, but anyhow, it's really quite good performing strategy. Um, yeah. But you see, there are other strategies performing quite well as well. And those are Hyperion and Butterfly at, uh, for last week performance. So that's the last week. But now let's have a general view and go really inside the JFD West. And as I mentioned, what you can always do is go as a guest. And then it means uh, even that you don't need uh, any profile. And if you do so, then um, you will feel, we'll see the following, the complete table of uh, potential strategies you might follow. And there's even a second page here. Uh, originally, they are always ordered um, with a return. So once again, we have Hyperion <clears throat> at the top and uh, second was Gold Rush. Um, uh, already mentioned uh, as being the best performer of last week. But now 
let's really dive into those strategies and see what kind of key figures we offer. And those things I discuss now <clears throat> might be part of your personal uh, selection procedure. So here we have already inception date. And in principle, you can state, okay, the longer, the better, because that means the strategies are already acting on a life account for a long period. So we, you will see strategies already starting in 2017. That's, by the way, even before JFT Invest has been launched. The reason why those inception dates are before the launch date of uh, JFD Invest is quite simple. Those um, accounts have already been managed by professional traders before JFD Invest. And of course, we show the complete history, um, the complete track record of all those accounts here. And therefore, you have different uh, inception dates, uh, even going down up to April 2017. So that's more than two years uh, from now. We have return. Okay, that's the overall return last month, year to date, and mentioned already equity balance deviation. Equity balance deviation in a more detail is uh, quite simple. Um, if you have a trading account and there's no open trade, then always equity and balance will equal. Um, okay, um, that's quite easy. But if you have open trades, then those trades might be in profit or might be in loss. Both is possible. And remember that especially uh, in the next millisecond after you open a trade, you are always in the minus because of costs of trading, like spreads and commission. Um, so therefore, open trades, they um, are summed up and they create the equity. Balance is always all closed trades and equity includes the open trades. And if you have now a number like minus 40% for equity balance deviation, that means there has been a point in time that there have been lots of trades open and they have been in the minus. Whether that is finally a minus trade, that's not telling you uh, you don't know from this number, but at least temporarily you have to to live with those kind of what is called floating losses. So that's quite important. And therefore, I mentioned it's a little bit similar to a drawdown. It might be a temporary drawdown, but at least it's a drawdown. So uh, you will see it in your account as well. We go in more details, uh, and let's start with Hyperion, which is really the top performer overall. And you see first page or first graph <clears throat> always grows in total. And uh, you see that already a couple of months ago, we have uh, exceeded already 100%. And now we are close back to that, uh, close to the 100%. Uh, so strategy has uh, recovered quite well. Uh, but you see, there are drawdowns as well. And uh, they are heavy, yes, but the return is heavy or high as well. So let's go first to equity balance deviation once again, because what we uh, discussed up to now was only the maximum number, or better to say the minimum number. Um, and now we can look to that even on a, a time axis. And you see, <clears throat> overall, the strategy has quite often the situation that there are uh, floating losses. So there um, are open positions and they have been in, um, in minus. And Overall, let's let's calculate something like an average to the eye, then would would be about let's say minus ten percent. So if you invest ten k in that strategy, it means okay, one k you are most of the time in loss. But on the other hand, you earn a lot of money with that strategy. Uh, you see the numbers uh, by yourself. So that's equity balance deviation, and it's important to keep that number uh, always um, as a key figure for your selection procedure. We might have a look to equity as well, because now we go directly into the comparison of um, equity and balance, and we see something more. You see a st steep step down here uh, in March this year. Oops, what's that? 
We haven't seen that in the growth. What's happened here? Since we haven't seen it in the growth, then it means there has been a withdrawal. So the trader took out some money uh, from his trading account, which is quite okay, and it has definitely nothing to do with your money. And even if you follow that strategy, uh, it's, it's not not your money which can be taken away, definitely the answer is no to that. Um, but the trader has done it. So therefore it's always important to look for growth first and you might look for equity here as well. And then you see there are two green lines and that is once again the balance, which is always accumulated um, close trades and the equity. And uh, that you remember uh, the difference is what we call equity balance deviation and are floating losses. You see, strategy is developing really good, steady growth, so that's quite uh, well. What we offer as well, uh, we must monthly return table, so if everything would be green, then it's a perfect one, definitely, and we have uh, some of those. Um, for example, um, Forex Gun, uh, as a totally green uh, monthly return table. So, and you see it's trade statistics. So you can see um, how many trades have been executed, average win, average loss, and so on and so forth. So all the trade statistics uh, we offer here. And for me personally, it's important to know what kind of instruments are being traded and that we offer as well. So therefore you can see in this case that strategy is mainly trading DAX and Dow Jones and there are a few trades on other symbols but it's more or less focused on the two major indices the DAX and uh, Dow Jones. Statistics is good so lots of trades have been executed so there's statistics behind not just like uh, five lucky winners or something like that. No, so everything looks good. That's an example for a high return strategy involving high risk as well. Okay, let's have a look to Gold Rush as well, because uh, that has been the top performer of last week. And you can see, okay, totally different kind of picture of, um, of growth. And there are, by the way, no, um, big differences between equity and balance as you can see here um, so it's uh, because all the trades are closed at the end of the day so therefore we don't have any big differences here uh, that we have a number um, that has other reasons but you see um, really good performance especially the last two big steps up what's behind that I can tell you both steps up have been Tuesdays and the strategy gold rush is trading um, different symbols as you have seen already and is looking for a preferred direction at a given day and with day I mean day of the week like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and therefore I mentioned that the last two steps up here <clears throat> have been on Tuesday and the majority of the profit stems from uh, trading indices in this case. And in both cases, those have been long trades in indices and really doing a quite good job uh, on those Tuesdays. And if you think, hey, long trades and that profit in that time where markets go south, yeah, but not on Tuesday. Uh, that is what the statistics uh, is telling us. And therefore we look, or uh, the strategy is looking for those statistic, statistic, oh, sorry, statistical edges. Um, and if you find those probability advantages, strategy is, is trading. And that is done for lots of instruments as you have seen already, but now we can go here for the list of instruments once again. And there's even a second page, but I think there are only yeah, four uh, instruments left. So it's a huge list of instruments. And you see even here we have a good trading statistics. In total, we have executed more than 1,000 trades. Not everything is green, as you can see, but the majority. And that is exactly creating that nice equity curve here. And okay, even here we have those drawdowns. But the other good thing is no overnight risk, no over weekend risk. So that's really a quite cool um, strategy. And if you look 
um, for the details. I don't want to hide that one. Then you see two other quite important numbers. One is the minimum investment sum, which is in this case 2, 2K. And you can see how many investors are following the strategy, how many how much money is being invested into that strategy. Everything is presented here. And I have to talk about that as well. There's, for all the strategies, a performance fee involved. And how does that work? Only in case of profits, you may have to take, uh, you may have to pay and you are charged with a performance fee, which is based on the profit itself, and that is 25%. But the other good thing is it's a high watermark principle. That means only if with your following account, you reach for that strategy new highs, then you are charged. And only reaching new highs on the months and base, then um, the performance fee is charged to your account. Or you, if you step out of a strategy, of course, if that is a new high, then you have to pay as well. But um, that's quite obvious. So that is involved, performance fee, minimum investment, it's good to know that number as well because you cannot go uh, further down. And what I recommend, and I will um, be on that topic in a second, we have always to, to look to close trades of this strategy as well in order to, to get a feeling of how that will be copied into my personal account. So we have seen already a couple of strategies. Now it's time, I think, to go uh, directly to my personal trading account, my personal JFD Invest account, and let's go for that and see how that develops over time. And if you are, uh, once again, in those webinars, you know already that there have been uh, steps up and steps down already. And uh, once again, there was one step down uh, uh, yesterday, but overall, it's looking quite well. And I'm already on uh, where I want to be and that means um, I'm uh, with a gross return above 25%. Um, that is what I, what I want to achieve at the very end of the first year with uh, following strategies as JFD and West. So it's a re quite well double digit uh, number. Um, so performing well, and I like that. And even to have those steps down, okay that belongs to trading as well. And there have been special strategies and my risk uh, allocation, yeah, has stepped out, out of those strategies because what you can always do is you can say for following a given strategy, a maximum of euro number, uh, which you are willing to accept to, to lose. And um, that happened and therefore I have those step downs. Okay. Um, but overall, performance is quite well. So how is my allocation as we speak? That is my current allocation. And uh, you can see that we uh, I'm following six uh, different strategies. I don't think I have to change anything because I'm, it's doing well. And uh, therefore I stick to exactly that kind of um, allocation. But you see what's quite important, at least from my point of view, that is, that you are diversified, not just following one single strategy, put all in into one. No, be diversified. Uh, that's always a key element for a good um, overall portfolio. So that's what I'm doing here. And I mentioned I want to revisit um, Gold Rush because if you have a profile and you are locked in, then you can see all closed trades of a given strategy. We haven't been able to to do that step as a guest, but now we are locked in. And therefore, um, in a few seconds, you will see the closed trades. I'm just waiting for the loading process. And here we are with closed trades and the near um, history. And you see mm, quite well uh, indice trades on Tuesday this week, as I mentioned. And now, I want to explain you a little bit more about money allocation and how those trades are copied. You might remember that that strategy is more or less trading in a 10 or now already close to 13,000 uh, euro account as a minimum investment is 2K. Okay, what does it mean if you follow the strategy with exactly 2K? So then we have about a factor of six between 
the account, the master account, and with your sub account, with um, you want to follow that strategy, assuming just the 2K. If there's a factor of six between those two numbers, then all the trades are scaled down by a factor of six. And now you see what happens in detail. So that um, UK trade would be fine. You can scale down that by a factor of six, which would be actually a 0.1 lot trade, because indices have a minimum lot size of 0.1. And we cannot scale it down to 0.15, because that's impossible. And therefore, it would be a 0.1 um, lot trade. On the other hand, for example, the trade on um, S&P uh, on the Dow Jones US 30 cash here has been a trade with 0.2. If we want to scale that down, it's not possible. So that trade would be skipped. And that's good because we do not want to overload um, your account. You see, in this case, if you follow with 2K, not every trade would be copied. The majority, yes. If you look for the Forex trade here, okay, there the minimum lot size is 0.01, so everything would be scaled fine. Um, but from time to time, if you follow with 2K, there might be trades missing. That's still okay, but I want to mention that topic as well because it's important to know how trades are copied exactly. Good. You see what you can achieve with JFD and West. We discussed a little bit more in detail today um, Gold Rush, which is a quite cool strategy, I think, because it's closing all trades um, before midnight and even before swap costs uh, would be uh, charged. So you learn always a little bit more about the given strategies and you can see what you can finally achieve with JFD and West. My recommendation is always build, create a portfolio of strategies you follow, not just putting all money into one and then always match um, your preferences with those strategies. Really do a good review process um, in order to find the best match. And there's no single rule for that, but uh, you will find always strategies which really fit to your preferences and those one you should select. That's for today. I will update you uh, next week once again, of course, uh, as always. And let's see whether we can keep running above 25. And I'm still thinking we can do. And uh, we have one month left before the first year end, because that was starting date was uh, 23rd of uh, September. And then we can do the final review on my personal JFD Invest account. And hopefully yours is looking similar or even better. Okay, that's for now. Have a good time and um, have a good day. Bye-bye.